Hello everybody. My name is James and I've been kind of down and out and in a homeless situation since about 2005. I was a truck driver after my house was burnt down and I lost everything including uh, my family that my wife ran off with somebody else she was responsible for my place being burnt down uh, insurance was canceled on the place burn it down left me with a mountain of debt had to file bankruptcy ended up having to file for divorce she was ran off somebody else paid child support made sure that my kids were taken care of I have sacrificed everything so that they could have something I really really appreciate you know the encouragement from everybody that's out there that sees what I put up on the internet I've I've tried having a fundraiser on eBay so I could come up with some money so that I could pay for materials for a mobile home that I've acquired for a dollar here in Florida that's right a dollar it needs a lot of work you know, contacted Habitat for Humanities this morning to see if maybe they had some kind of a program where they could help me out with a discount on materials they said they don't do it anymore I contacted Salvation Army Salvation Army told me that whoever sold me the mobile home isn't doing me any favors that I need to come down and live in the shelter I don't want to live as a homeless person I want to pull myself up out of this situation I want a home I want to feel normal again I'm trying to pull myself out of this situation I'm on disability I've got a bad back I can't work a normal job because it just hurts too bad if I'm standing on a concrete floor for too long or if I gotta stand for too long I gotta take a break I gotta sit down I can't do that on a normal job I have looked for work I'm not afraid of work but I'm in a situation right now where I I'm only on disability I get 1363 a month I have to pay for a vehicle payment that I was lucky enough to get into so I can have a decent vehicle to get around in and I'm glad for that it's improving my credit now it's a credit builder but I still have this place I'm trying to fix I appreciate all of the encouragement people tell me you know, good for you prayers blessings you know um, that's all a wonderful thing thank you people saying I know you can do it yes I can but I'm on a time crunch when I acquired this place I was given three months space rent from the park mobile home park that it was in to get this place fixed before I got to start paying lot rent 275 a month I know that's not a lot but when you're on 1367 a month and you've got a vehicle payment, car insurance, phone payment, groceries, lot rent. You got to come up with money for you uh, a utility deposit. You got to come up with money for, for utilities. Vehicle registration here. <laughs> Driver's license here. And I'm just I know people are looking at this, at this saying, "Well, why would you go there?" Or in the first place put yourself in my shoes if you didn't have a home and you're staying with relatives all the time 
feeling like a burden to everybody want a bit of normalcy want to actually be in a place to make you, yourself feel like you know, you're a, a person um, again a whole person a place you can call home especially when I haven't been able to provide anything for my children for years except for child support I know they're in college now but I would like to be able to have a place where my children can come and see me it's not like I'm trying to get everybody to do this for me I've gone out and I've looked for materials I've done what I can so far to find donated materials I've jumped in dumpsters just to pull out boards, two by fours, one by twos, two by sixes, sheetrock, carpet padding. Look for any kind of deal that I could possibly afford on an appliance, you know, or something to put into this place. I'm a long ways from finished, and I can't do it on just nothing. Here's the thing. Um, one of the people on Facebook that I know said, um, try GoFundMe.com, setting up a GoFundMe account. I never heard of anything like this before. I've never been one to take charity. I've never been one to go out and stand on the street corner and beg. I have my pride. But... I'm kind of in a situation right now where I don't know what else to do. Um, now if you can't donate to this GoFundMe account, any I don't care if it's a quarter. I don't care if it's 10 cents. Could you at least point me in the right direction to a place that could possibly assist me in some, I don't care if it's used carpet, um, used wood flooring, tile, sheetrock, especially roofing tiles. I need a new roof. And this is not the place I'm staying in. I'm actually sitting on a friend's couch right now doing this. He doesn't even know I'm doing this right now. He's at the hospital with his wife. But I am on disability because I have a bad back. I have a deteriorating lower disc in my lower back. Post-traumatic stress disorder, which I'm not proud of. And bipolar disorder. Which I'm really not proud of, but this is just what I was born with. This is who I am. And I'm trying to control that too. I take my medication. That doesn't mean I'm crazy. There are people out there that have these things that are trying to stay normal and live what kind of a life that they can make to call it normal. And be a good person in society. Well, I'm trying. I'm really trying here. But can somebody please help me? I really need some help. I don't know what else to do. But thanks for looking at this. Um, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Well, I got a vehicle that needs repairs, just like everybody else. That's something that just it happens. I've got medical bills for a doctor's uh, stay, a hospital stay up in Sherman, Texas. When I didn't even have a home, and they won't work with me. Over fifteen thousand dollars. I had a gallbladder attack. It felt like I was having a heart attack. No. and I need to work out something with 
the few other bills that I've got. But that's neither here nor there. What I need right now is help with my home. I'll work out the rest. You know, I need surgery on my back. I need surgery on my left arm. There's. I just need to get my home done. I am so tired and weary of not being able to live in my own place. I used to be able to do for people. I volunteered for the USO. I've donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. I've been a volunteer ambulance driver, EMS. Given to my community. Done what I can to support our troops. Help people in the community. I've given two cars in the past to needed people. I've helped people out with rent when they needed money for rent. I've helped people out with vehicle payments in the past when they needed help, when I had money to give. Now I'm in this situation now where <laughs> I look for help, but I can't find it. Please help. I need some help. I need a home. There may be a mobile home there, but it's not home. Not yet. There's, there's a long ways to go. Please help. Thank you.